Thank you for choosing our products and service. Here are some steps that will help you use our cameras. Step 1. What's in the box of AP008? Step 2. Connect the camera to network. Step 3. Real camera via smartphone. Step 4. Real camera via PC. Step 5. Real camera via IE browser. Step 6. Wireless setting. For the first question, how many cameras we can have? We have indoor PT IP camera, outdoor IP camera, PTZ IP camera, video call IP camera. Today I will take model AP08 for example, show you how to use IP camera. Right now we take the first step, what in the box? The package contains the following items, a camera, a user menu, a bracket, a CD, some screws and bolts, a power adapter. Next, we take the step 2, connect the camera to network. In order to set up the IP camera model AP008, you need a power adapter and a network cable. First thing we're gonna do is insert the power adapter to the DC input. Next, connect the net cable to the network interface. The other way to the rotor or switch. Please ensure all the camera and the computers are in the same local network and the other net cable to the internet. Next, we take the step 3. We will camera via smartphone. In order to view the IP camera in your smartphone, <coughs> first you need to install the APP. There are two ways to install the APP. The first way is open the brief instructor and scan the QR code. Right now you can scan the QR code using your barcode scanner. The other way to install the APP is open the web address and download the application. After the installation, you will find this software named AP Camera. Open the AP Camera and then click Add Camera. The first thing you need to do is scanning QR code. The QR code can be found at the bottom of the camera. Click Scan QR Code. And then click Done. Here you can see this camera, P2P camera. You can turn the camera up, down, left, or right. Next, we will take the step 4. We will camera via PC. To operate the IP camera in your computer, first you need to install the PC client software. Open the CD, you will find this folder. Open this folder, you will find a CMS device viewer folder. <coughs> Choose the platform. Install device viewer. After the installation, there will be an icon on the desktop named Device Viewer. Open it. The login window will pop up. The default username is a main. 
default password is also a main. Quick login. Right click on the brand area. Quick search device. You can search. Chat the camera that you want to view and double click. Change the video compression. Just P2P server and enter the username and password. Default username is a mean, default password is none. Confirm. And here you can s view your camera. This software also support multiply in display in interface like 4, 9, 16, 25. You can add another camera by using the same methods. Double quit on the device. And here you can view two cameras. This this software also had the other functions like PTZ control where you can turn the camera up or down, left or right, and system configuration, <coughs> system tools. Record playback. Continue. We'll take the step five. We will camera via i browser to op operate the IP camera in browser. There are three steps that we need to take. Firstly, open the CD and, and open folder install all player S next open the p2p id finder software install ip camera fts and then open p2p id finder When the P2P ID finder is opened, there are three things you need to note. First, the computer IP address must in the same le local network with the camera's IP address. Next, when you want to preview the camera, you need to click on here and then enter username and password connect. Here you can see a preview. Finally, you can go to the general part and open the login window with part up. Enter username and password. The default username is admin. No password. We strongly suggest that you should use IE Browser and <coughs> here you, you need to choose IE Browser to s and here comes the operation interface you can turn left, right, up or down and adjust the speed and do other factors and it also has multiply display interface. To assess the background management, you can click on here. Last but not least, we'll take step 6, 
wireless settings. Go back to the background management that we just opened. Click on the wireless setting and click scan. Here comes all the wireless network that we have found. Enter the password. Click submit. And the camera will reboot in a minute. After that, you can pull out your LAN and you use the LAN wireless network. That's all the stats that I give today. Thank you.